Hello, and thank you for joining me for this session on co-authoring PowerPoint presentations stored in SharePoint Online. For the first part of this video, I have two virtual desktops up on my screen so that I could show two unique instances of PowerPoint running under different user credentials. Let's begin with the window on the left-hand side and having Garth edit the Northwind presentation. We'll now do the same thing with the window on the right and have Sarah edit the same presentation. As you can see, both users are notified that another user is editing the presentation. We can also view who the other editors are in the presentation by clicking on the Authors in Editing This Document icon in the status bar. This will show us that both Sarah Davis and Garth Fort are working on this document. In the instance of PowerPoint running as Garth, I'm going to edit the first slide. So let's make a small change. What you see in Sarah's instance of PowerPoint is that the first slide now has another icon next to it. And this person icon shows us that other authors are currently editing this slide. The same holds true if we have Sarah make a change, let's say, to the second slide. We now see that in Garth's instance, there's an icon next to the second slide that says authors are currently editing this slide. Changes made to an individual slide are not visible to other users until that change is saved. So we'll have Garth save his changes. What you'll notice that in the status bar for Sarah, she received a message that updates are available. By accepting the changes, she's presented with a message saying PowerPoint has refreshed the presentation with changes made by other users. As soon as she accepts that, she can go up to the first slide and you can see the change has been made. Now if Sarah exits out of the presentation, Garth receives a notification that Sarah is no longer editing this document and he's the only one in there making changes. For the second part of the demo, we will be walking through the co-authoring experience of PowerPoint using PowerPoint Online. Currently, Garth and Sarah both have the Northwind presentation open in read-only mode. Let's begin by having Garth change it to edit mode. And we'll do the same thing for Sarah. As you can see in the upper right-hand corner of the browser, each user is notified that other users are editing the presentation. In addition to this, there's also a status icon next to a slide showing what slide the other user is currently working on. Inside of Garth's window, if I hover over the user icon, I could see Sarah is currently on slide two. Inside of Sarah's window, I can see that Garth is on slide one. Unlike the authoring experience with the PowerPoint desktop application, all changes made by a user are visible to the other users editing the presentation in real time. Not only are those changes visible in real time, but the section of the slide being edited is also highlighted so other users know where others are working. So if I update content as Garth, You'll see that in Sarah's presentation, the Northwind Contoso text area is highlighted. In addition to that, if we make a change, the change is reflected inside of Sarah's slide. And the same would hold true if Sarah were to make a change. Now when a user is finished editing the presentation and leaves the edit mode, the other users will be notified. So let's have Garth go out of the slide. And you can see Sarah is no longer receiving notifications that Garth is editing the presentation. So this concludes our co-authoring experience with PowerPoint. Stay tuned for my other co-authoring videos to gain a better understanding of what happens with Word, Excel, Visio and OneNote.